I've had a rocky relationship with test benches. I have always loved the idea of them, but usually, to put it bluntly, they're just kind of I've tried to overcome this fact. I even found one that I didn't hate as much as the others. You've probably never heard of it. They're, they're called Spotswood Tech Stations. They're, uh, yeah, they're pretty obscure. And even resolved to use it for my personal computer. But that was a bad idea. The bench wasn't that great. And in the end, we all knew it. But I don't think I fully gave up until a while later when I made a video on how to make your own test bench in under two hours for almost nothing that ended up being nearly as good as what was on the market. Kind of depressing. So when HWBot approached me about checking out the open bench table, I was a little apprehensive. It wasn't cheap, and I was worried its features would turn out to be gimmicks, but I gave it a shot anyways, because if anyone is going to have a chance at getting a test bench right, it was going to be competitive overclockers. Let's see how they did. TunnelBear is the simple VPN app that makes it easy to browse privately and enjoy a more open internet. To try TunnelBear for free, check out the link in the video description. The first thing that jumps out at you when you start working with the bench is the build quality of everything. From the heavy duty AL5052 aluminum body to the SS304 steel screws, no punches were pulled when it came to build quality, which is great as long as you can stomach the 150 US dollar price tag, which rivals some pretty wicked mid-tower cases that have like side panels and front panels and rear, p you get the point. But this is cool. If you don't wanna shell out that kind of dough and have access to a CNC machine, say at your school or workplace or something like that, then there is an alternative. It's called the open bench table for more than just the fact that it's open to the air. It's open source as well, meaning that they welcome PC enthusiasts modifying, building, and making their own versions of their published design. Okay, great, but should you care? Let's talk features. First off, it's portable. The legs or the stands, along with all the other mounts, they fold within the main body, allowing it to be flat packed. And then it features a handle on one end, making it a breeze to move around. Second, when you get to where you're going, you'll immediately notice the completely toolless design of everything. All of the screws that you'll need are cleverly stored in metal components or on the side of the bench, and they're all thumb screws that, even straight from the factory, are loose enough that you can legitimately remove them without fetching any tools at all. Although I would recommend whipping out a screwdriver just to make sure that certain things are absolutely secure while actually building your computer. And there's more than just screws built in. Literally everything you need is here, like your expansion card standoffs, which works surprisingly well considering the issues that I've had with very similar designs in the past where they would like wobble and fail. Though you may have some issues trying to plug in display cables like HDMI or DisplayPort or whatever else, this is due to the need for them to be non-flat. It's not that hard to avoid, however, if you're comfortable with just one standoff per card. Just remove the top one. Speaking of standoffs, you have your choice when mounting your motherboard of pin-based screwless standoffs and a more standard system. I opted to go for a mix, mostly made up of screwless standoffs, with a couple more traditional ones, just in case I wanted to lock things down with screws and whatnot. I love this, because ease of use is very important when it comes to a test bench, and not needing to screw things in, in this case, is paramount. On to drive mounting. For me at least, this isn't all that important on a test bench. I tend to just let them free ball, since SSDs aren't much of a risk from an accidental bump or even a fall, to be completely honest. But this time, I installed both the SSD and an extra hard drive directly onto the bench, almost entirely because it just looked so damn cool. Like, seemingly everything else on this bench. When you're done installing all your hardware, it's time to do the often dreaded task of cable management. You'll be happy to know, however, that there are holes left behind when you remove the various components, like the, the little arms for the radiator that attach it to the side of your bench in a surprisingly sturdy and attractive way. But why are these holes a good thing? 
Well, if you just grab some Velcro straps, you can use them as cable management loops to keep everything absolutely tidy. So you end up with what is, in my opinion, a very attractive mix of revealing the work that you put into it while still looking beautiful. So it's portable. It assembles and disassembles elegantly. It looks freaking amazing, and it's sturdy all around. What's not to love? Well, despite how awesome it is, not everyone is going to want to or be able to fork over $150 for a test bench regardless. I absolutely love it, and it will be replacing my old work test bench that I've been using since 2011. But with that said, even I don't know if I could justify the cost for a personal purchase, especially with the current state of the Canadian dollar. What do you guys think? Let me know down below. Ting is the mobile carrier that is focused on customer service and customer satisfaction first. You don't have to speak to a robot. If you call in, you get put directly to a person and you pay for only what you use. The average Ting bill is only $23 a month per device. If you're stuck in a contract and switch over to Ting, they will cover 25% of your cancellation fee up to 75 bucks. They are now lowering mobile data rates across the board and data is now just $10 per gigabyte beyond the first gigabyte. Every Ting customer will be able to reap the benefits of this new change, which is awesome. So head over to linusdocting.com and try out their savings calculator. When you sign up at our link, you'll also get $25 in service credit or $25 towards a new device. Thanks for watching, guys. If this video sucked, you know what to do. But if it was awesome, get subscribed, hit the like button, or check out the link to where to buy it or other test benches on Amazon, because I don't know if this one's on Amazon and all the other ones suck. Also linked in the description is the merch store where you can buy cool shirts like this and our community forum where you can like discuss things and stuff. Now that you're done doing all of that, watch this video, which is where I DIY a test bench. <sighs> that isn't as good as this one, but it's still pretty cool.